Welcome back, guys. It's a rainy day here in Pennsylvania, so what better thing to do than to talk about knee pads? More specifically, the Latitude Outdoor knee pads. Are they gold or are they garbage? How long can you expect your Latitude Outdoor knee pads to last? And did you make the right decision when you invested a premium dollar in these knee pads? I want to deal with a couple of things that I have experienced in long-term use of these knee pads and kind of just talk about my experience. What can you expect? About three years ago, I bought my first knee pads. That was the Trophy Line Knee Savers. And I use them and anything that's in between your knee and the bark of the tree is a good thing. But then shortly after that, I also bought my tethered knee pads, which I still have and I like. They're great knee pads. And I used them over top of the trophy line and I ended up giving my trophy line to a friend. And then shortly after I got the tethered knee pads, I also picked up and got the Latitude Outdoor knee pads. Now, there is a pro in regards to the latitude over the tethered and there is a pro in regards to the tethered over the latitude and I've used them now for two seasons one season um, one knee pad per season me and my daughter go back and forth between these two knee pads and uh, you know I like them both they both have pros and they both have a con but back in the in the archives of my mind or back in the back of my mind I'm wondering okay well how long will these knee pads last Here's where this is all going. October 28th or 26th or something, I closed on a house here in Pennsylvania. And starting in November until almost current, I have taken a house from a two-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath to a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Converted an entire garage into a master bedroom, master bathroom. I took a 16-foot by 18-foot sunroom that was only three seasons, converted it into a four-seasons living room, added hallways, closets, 1,800 square feet of flooring. And I say that because I spent a lot of time on my knees and working, getting up and down. And actually, after about the first week of me doing a bunch of demo work, my knees were so sore being on the hardwood floor and the concrete floor in the master bedroom, master bath, that I said, you know what, I'm done with this. And I went and I got my Latitude Outdoor knee pads. If you can see here, I got paint. I painted in these things. I demoed in these things. I did it literally as soon as I walked into the house, the first thing I would do is grab the knee pads. And I, I wanna try to emphasize how many hours I put into this house for almost five to six months. I would spend anywhere from eight to 12 hours a day for six days a week at this house trying to get it ready to move in with my family. And I, I don't know, hundreds of hours I have in these knee pads. And I wanna point out a couple things. There is some sign of where, this is the sign of where on the front of, these knee pads, you can see that I got I got some stitching right here that has a little bit of fray on the stitching. There is no peeling back of the fabric at all. It's just a couple, a little bit of the stitching is getting some fray on them. On the side here, there's a little bit right there where the Vibram rubber is sewn onto the knee pad. And you know, I'm, I'm really impressed. I, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the outer fabric of the knee pad is Cordura and that stuff is as tough as nails if not whatever the fabric is it is super super tough because really again i'm talking hundreds of hours that i have spent wearing these things and on the fabric itself there is there's is some wear but there's no rips there's no tears there's no you know thin spots anything like that so i'm really impressed with the outer fabric that they have used also this vibram rubber that you know you see on a lot of boots and stuff like that if you just look at it, I cannot tell that any one spot has significant wear on it. Uh, not at all. Matter of fact, demoing so many walls, I've demoed a lot of concrete. Uh, I've, I've been kneeling down in trash piles with you know debris there and metal there, all of that stuff. So my knees have gone onto some pretty sharp surfaces, and there is no rips, there's no no tears, there's there's no you know chunks of rubber that's taken out of any of any portion of the, the rubber here. And so I was really, really impressed with the outer, the face of it and the outer material. Super, super awesome. The biggest thing that I have seen is right here. And you can see that on both knee pads, you can see that this little felt uh, material that's between your knee and the foam, that there's a split right there on both of these. And 
you know, when I first started working on this, after about two months in, I'm like, man, I'm pretty impressed with these. I'm going to start documenting, you know, some pictures here and there of me working in it because I do. I want to do a long-term review on the quality of these Latitude knee pads. And as I kept going, I noticed that on the inside, I did get that rip. But when you look at this, this material right here, you won't be able to see it. I, I'll get some close-ups for you. All that really is is a felt backer or something. I don't know if felt's the right word, but a, a little backer material. And with all the time that I've spent bending down my knees on the ground, sliding back and forth, laying flooring, all of that stuff, if this is the only sign of wear that I have, then I'm really, really impressed with the longevity of these knee pads. Now, I could have used the tethered knee pads also, but the problem with using those on concrete is they have that hard thermoplastic on the outside, so there would have, it, it just wouldn't have been the same as using something that has is, is more pliable like that. So, hundreds of hours, not including the, the time that I have spent in the tree, and this is the only significant sign of wear that I have. These are still fully functioning. As a matter of fact, I've been using them like this now for several months, and so at the end of the day, if you don't know what to expect from your Latitude outdoor knee pads. Let this, this long-term review assure you that you should be able to, with ease, with ease, get seven to ten hunting seasons out of these pads without even having to, you know, think about replacing them because there's a bunch of wear. The only thing that, that I did notice besides this is, as always, with any type of use, I think the foam uh, started to break down a little bit. Uh, it didn't lose all of its cushion or anything like that. But you can just tell these are these are completely broken in. I mean, they're they're completely broken in. So I'm really impressed. This is a long-term review, a long-term thought of what to expect. And again, I, you can easily expect seven to ten seasons, in my estimation, from the time that I have worked on my house with these knee pads again seven to ten seasons with ease and and more uh you know especially if you're only hunting 40 to 80 hours the entire hunting season or even 100 hours uh, you can expect some long-term use out of these latitude outdoor knee pads if you have any questions worries doubts fears unbelief negativities drop them in the comments section below and until next time good luck to you